hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not why not my channel is about personal finance personal growth luxury travel and all things luxury so today's topic is definitely luxury focused that's what i like to do on fridays because i'm in a good mood i'm in a spendy mood and i'm in a sharing mood so hey perfect time to do that so as you saw in the intro clip today i'm going to be showing you how to make a um a, a, a band for your apple watch using scars that you already have in your collection i swear at this point hermes orange is my favorite color and so as you can see in the clip i've made my very own uh hermes apple watch i'm also going to have an unboxing for um the chanel bando i got which i got the same weekend i got my apple watch six and I'm also going to show you an unboxing of a new accessory uh, that I purchased, which, you know, honestly, I should be wearing right now. Let's fix that. There we go. So that is now all fixed. I'm trying to put it in frame so you can see it. Clearly, it is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and show you the unboxings for the scarf. Um, and then I'll come back and explain... Um, how you can create the same look you saw in the very beginning. So, getting right into it. Now in this next clip, I'm gonna show you how you can take this scarf and actually make the band, like the one I'm currently wearing, which I think is so beautiful and so great for when you're going dressing up and you still wanna wear your Apple Watch. There's also a way you definitely need to um, put it on to make sure that it is still acting as your Apple Watch and still has contact to your wrist skin. So I bought these connectors on Amazon and honestly, uh, there's a lot of options and depending on the size that you have, it um, you'll see whether it's gonna fit. I actually went for the silver in this case. I bought four different colors and I went for the silver and you have to make sure you're, it's facing the right way so it clips on and your Apple Watch does not fall off. As you can see here, I struggled and please excuse my nails. Um, and then um, you just put it on on each end and you should be ready to go after you put it on both sides. Now in this clip, I definitely kept both, um, I've definitely kept the cover on, but uh, I, as you saw in the initial clip that I did not keep the, the um, I did not keep it on the, this time because I think it looks better without it when you're wearing it as a, a, with the scarf band. So you loop it on one side, okay? And then you go ahead and straighten it out. 
and check to see where the tab is depending on how it's placed you can either put it at the bottom or in, and scoop it and then put it all the way through keep in, in mind how you want to hide that label i don't take the labels off my bandos because hey that's part of the cost part of the authenticity and so yeah as you can see it's definitely very easy to do by yourself um you can hold on to one end as i eventually figured out um i had put it upside down so the right way on uh you go ahead and pull it on both ends until it is snug this ensures that um and here i found a way to cover the the tag and then you, depending on how long it is this chanel one was pretty long so i had to double um double the the wrap around um and as i said you want to make sure that you still keep the contact on there okay triple uh, you want to make sure that you still keep contact on your skin at the bottom of the reader of the apple watch um i tied it there one single-handedly um it should be pretty easy to do um you just you know make it all pretty hold on to it with your other hand and then you should be good to go and tie it on like just like i'm doing in this and there you go you have a chanel apple watch bando band and you are now good to go oh unlocking and there you go it is beautiful so as you can see it looks really pretty if you want to get the same like faces that i have here which uh I turned off the always on display, right? But um, I basically found pictures online of different Hermes backgrounds and I um, put them all in the, in, I put, I changed it in the settings to change the face to photos. You go into the app actually. You go into the app and you click go to the apple watch app and you go under your face that has the photos and you click photos and then it'll ask you which photos because you can click like i'll go to this one that i haven't done go to photos and then you ask you to choose photos and then from there you can choose the photos you want and then now it's going to default to the photos that you want which in this case i picked all Hermes photos so it just like um rotates between those there's tons online that you can do and in that way you have your own Hermes apple watch without spending the extra thousand dollars you can also you can also always order the bands um, I didn't want an Hermes specific watch. I mean, it would have been nice to have one, but I didn't feel the need to spend the extra on the Hermes Apple Watch. I just wanted a stainless steel Apple Watch and I wanted it in gold and they don't even offer it in gold. But needless to say, um, that, that is what, um, that is what, um, they have. So, yeah. And now you know how to do that. Um, <laughs> all right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is how to clean your braided loop band. This is a $100 loop band, a single loop band, and you wanna make sure you keep it clean because I noticed mine was starting to get dirty. And as you can see here, like it was super dirty. And that's from sweat, from touching things. It's also a light pink color, so it's gonna catch on to everything. And so, yeah, I went ahead and decided to experiment and see how it turned out. I was like, worst case scenario, I ruined this brand and I've lost $100. It would suck, but I, I felt pretty safe about how I wanted to go about it. So basically, basically, I um, just, so basically, I put it on heavy duty and um that's because of the whole load that i already had in there and i put it on cool settings and i went ahead and washed it with a non-toxic 
I went ahead and washed it as my normal load. I just threw it in there because I didn't want the little metal plates in there to get damaged. And um, yeah, it worked out. And here is the band, nice and super clean. And here I'll show you a closer look. None of the metal pieces in here were damaged. So definitely do not put it in the dryer. When it came out, it was actually dry, which is great. So I could just snap it back on and it went from this to this. And I'm really happy with that. Um, and yeah, that's all, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and, um, make sure you like and subscribe um and yeah there'll be more content I, I plan on being more helpful on this channel and not just unboxing the stuff i have but showing helpful things like how to make more use of all your bandos and yeah because god knows that 200 dollars just tying it for your hair is not good enough it needs to do everything R a br bracelet apple watch band hair band Whatever, <laughs> you know, I personally love the bandos and I have at least like six or seven. And um, yeah, so I don't always show them on this channel, but I thought it would be nice to show with all the Apple Watch craze that's still going around. And for all my fashionistas, all the luxury lovers, you guys can share in that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Bye.